welcome to a vlog. I always want to call it a studio vlog, but I don't really have a studio. It's just kind of like this weird corner of my apartment where I make art. My name's Kristen. I'm an artist. I go by Little Tiny Egg here on the internet. This is like a month-ish in my life. Hope you like the video. Here it is. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the floor. A couple of things are happening today. I am doing this thing that I call like tackling all the surfaces in my house. So I just pick a surface and then like take everything off of it and then like wipe down the surface and then put everything back on in like a nicer way. So I just did that to the coffee table and like our little entry space with all our shoes and stuff. And I am about to do it to this, which is like my art doom box. There is so much crap in here and then this is like where I put my palette and stuff while I'm painting at my desk. I am going to wipe off all my palettes today, wipe off this and then tackle this doom space. So let's see, I guess, if we find anything interesting in there. Okay, so that's everything that was in that box, um, kind of exposing myself. But whenever there is something that I don't know where it goes, I put it in that bin. So now is the time for me to figure out where these things go. <laughs> A lot of it is just trash. Yesterday I cleaned my entire studio space and I found a bunch of prints, not prints, originals that I had made for Inktober, I think in 2021. So they're quite old and I just wanted to get rid of them. So I posted them on my Instagram and a bunch of people, like they all got sold. I don't feel very good today because I had an infusion of IV immunoglobulin at 7.30 this morning. So I don't know if you ever have had an IV placed and then had Benadryl at seven in the morning, but kind of ruins the rest of your day. So I'm just gonna pack these things up and then maybe when Taylor gets home, I'll send him to the post office because I'm just so freaking tired. Hi. Um, I'm gonna try to film this. I'm listening to the Draftsman podcast. These guys are okay. Oh, I need paint, huh? I got this set of Turner acrylic gouache for Christmas and I've really been enjoying using it in my sketchbook. I've been painting with traditional gouache for a couple years now and have been kind of dipping my toes into acrylic paint and the acrylic gouache is just perfect for uh, scanning things in, it's really matte and this paint from Turner is way higher quality than I thought it was going to be. I didn't want to buy one of the expensive big sets from Holbein so thought I would just start out with this Turner set and I really like it. I think I would like repurchase it. I don't see a problem with any of the paints but yeah, I think next time I need a white, I'll probably buy the white from Holbein just because that's what they carry at my local art supply store. I've been trying to carve out some time to just paint things from photos that I take in my sketchbook as just practice and it's been really fun. I really liked painting this little picture that I took of Nora. It's pretty cute. Hello, fun new angle unlocked. Look at Nora. Um, I wanted to show you my hair. I volunteered to be a guinea pig for my friend who's a hairstylist, so my hair looks like this now. Jump scare. Hi, I'm 
packing orders today um, for the shop update I did something I've never done before which is I did a pre-order <clears throat> sorry I think this is the first time I've talked today I just really haven't felt like vlogging or putting my face in front of the camera I haven't been feeling that good so so I did a pre-order of prints of the trout painting that I made and of these little rainbow trout earring and I got these cute little new envelopes um, they have my P.O. box on them. I just recently got a P.O. box. I was just putting my home address on all of my orders, which is not very safe, and you should not do that. And they're this like lilac purple color that I just feel like if you order stickers or something and they come in like a boring envelope, like the same color that your bills or like regular mail comes in, that's like that kind of sucks. Like, so getting this purple envelope in the mail is kind of fun. And then I have these ski bunny stickers. Really cute, in my opinion. There's three of them. This one's my favorite. I put it on my ski helmet. I just got these eco-enclosed bubble mailers and um, I'm really into them because they have two strips. So when you initially send it, you rip off this one and then if the person who receives it needs to make a return or just wants to reuse it for something else, they can use this like second strip of adhesive. I know a lot of people that order from me are also artists or small business owners, so it makes me happy to think that they could potentially reuse this. while now I have been starting all of my paintings with like a pink underpainting but recently I've been really drawn to this neon red it feels a little more intense like the end result seems more serious and intense with red versus pink where I feel like there is a softness to pink so something that I'll do is prime a bunch of sketchbook pages with whatever color underpainting I want to use so like this red and then you can see that I have some little pieces of watercolor paper on the side that I've primed with red too, just in case I want to keep going. A lot of the times when I'm sketchbooking, I work in multiple sketchbooks at a time just so that I don't have to wait for paint to dry before I flip the page. And it just kind of keeps you going, keeps you ideating and wanting to make more different things when I know that I have that piece of paper that's already primed and the paint's dry ready for me to apply that like top layer to it. Um, it really helps me keep going and if I have to like break my concentration to prime another piece, I might end up stopping or moving on to a different task. So it's just kind of a way for me to not streamline but like set up my sketchbook practice for myself. A lot of the times at the end of a sketchbook session, I will prime more pages for the next time. Also kind of helps with that blank page fear. I'm working on this mushroom painting for my friends Fiona and Natalie. I think I need to change the color of this mushroom so that they stand out a little bit more. I modeled it after Frog and Toad on their little tandem bike and I just think it's turning out really cute. It needs a little bit more detail but it's cute. illustration of these mushrooms. I'll put it on the screen. I'll put a scan on the screen. But my friend Fiona commissioned this for her girlfriend Natalie and I just think it's so sweet. These two little characters are so fun. Like please somebody hire me to create a children's book based off of these two characters. Yeah I'm just like realizing like 
how much I love illustrating things. Like I really love illustrating little stories and every time I make something that I would consider like an illustration, I just feel like so happy and like I love making something that feels like funny while I'm doing it. Like while I'm drawing, I'm just like, this is so silly. I feel like that's something that I wanna do more is just like draw more characters and do more like silly illustrations. I feel like sometimes I get caught up in being like, oh, I should make fine art. It's like three now at six. I'm gonna go to figure drawing. I went to this figure drawing class last week for the first time. It was really fun. It was only like the second figure drawing class I've ever done. I loved it so much. I just was like, it's from 6 to 9 p.m. and it's in this old theater. It's just like this really beautiful space. I'll maybe try to sneak some footage tonight if I'm not too embarrassed. It just feels so cool to be in a room of other people who are like focused so diligently on something for like 30 minute sessions. It's $20, but I think I'm gonna do it every week. I'm just like seeing it as like an investment in myself. It really has been improving my drawing skills like in my figure understanding. I thought I would show you my setup. I actually got this whole little toolbox inspired by one of the other artists. He had this little toolbox and I was like, that's so cute and convenient. Um, so I have this little chamois brush for like softening the charcoal. Pencil sharpener, kneaded eraser, and a bunch of charcoal. I usually use this vine charcoal, and then I have some charcoal pencils. I have all this like charcoal supplies. I didn't have to like buy any of it because I had it from like college drawing classes. Exciting life development. I bought a scanner. I had been going to the public library every time that I needed to scan something, which just not sustainable. And I've been scanning so many things. <laughs> Hi. It's Sunday morning and I'm tired, but I'm gonna work. <laughs> I'm also gonna go on a bike ride. I got some prints. I don't know where they are. Oh, they're right here. They're from Gicle Today. My friend Riley told me about them. Got two sizes of these. Remember when this painting was there? and now it's here on a piece of paper. The actual painting itself is at the Salt Lake Acting Company in the halls, so maybe someone will buy it while it's there. Or maybe someone will buy it online. Maybe it's you. It could be. Or you could get a print. There might just be a few left. I don't really want to make another edition of these, but if they sell well, maybe I will. project inspired by my friend Caro Nilsson where I make one large painting each month hopefully resulting in 12 big paintings maybe it'll be a calendar maybe it will just be one big painting a month but this is me starting my painting for February I primed the canvas with that same neon red from earlier but yeah I think it's been good for me to have this project so far it's only the second month of doing it I think I'm going to stick to this same canvas size, it's 24 inches by 30 inches. I just think it'll be really nice for simplicity's sake and then also just to have that like 12 piece body of work all be the same size canvas to kind of tie the whole project together. I'm thinking about like ecological embodiment in these pieces, so I think they're all going to be like animals or fish or bugs and I'm focusing on like animals that I have personal kind of connections to. So this is gonna be a great blue heron, uh, like snatching up a fish. <laughs> My goal with the pieces is to create something somewhat illustrative. I'm trying to think of it more as like a tiny mural than like a large painting, which is really allowing me to to be somewhat illustrative in my style and then also there's like kind of a storytelling element to the pieces. But yeah, if you wanna hear more about that project, there's a whole video about it. 
Hi, it's me again. Thank you for watching this video. I think you're really brave for clicking on it and making it all the way through. You did a great job and I'm really proud of you. I hope that you have a really great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.